Welcome to another Z Hut tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to increase your computer's RAM by using a USB memory stick or SD card. Now this is super easy to do and has many benefits. Let's say you just downloaded a program and you really want to use it. Download it, start it up. Uh oh, it needs 8 gigs of RAM, and you've only got 2. <laughs> oh, well, you think you're screwed? Nope. There is a little trick in Windows to increase your RAM for free as long as you have an uh, SD card or a USB memory stick. Now, I use this all the time because I'm a videographer and photographer and when I'm running programs like up here I got VideoPad and Audacity. Audacity doesn't use a whole lot of RAM but VideoPad when I put big videos in there and doing lots of editing whoa it can max my RAM out quick and especially when I'm rendering the videos it takes lots of RAM. Now by using this little trick I can speed up the process of my video rendering in VideoPad by almost double, sometimes triple, depending how big of a SD card I put in or USB memory stick. Now, I have several USB memory sticks, but the biggest I got is a 4 gig. I don't use them a whole lot except for transferring files between my laptop main computer and my little laptop that I use for recording and doing these videos and tutorials but as a photographer and videographer I got tons of SD cards and I've got them all the way up to like 64 gig well today I've got a 16 gig that I just uh, took all the files off here a little bit ago and then went ahead and formatted it to get all the camera information off of it and completely open it up. So we'll show you how to do this and it's super easy. First I'm going to stick my SD card in my computer in the slot and there we go it popped up. Now most of the time you know you're going to go to this open folder view files but a lot of people don't recognize this down here. Speed up my system. And that is how you increase the RAM on your computer using the SD card or USB memory stick. Now this works the same both ways. If you plug the memory stick in instead of the USB memory stick instead of the SD card, the same menu would pop up. And you just click on it. There we go, it opened up. And it's called Ready Boost. And this will work in Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7, Windows 8, and most likely when Windows 9 comes out, it should still work in there. So what you want to do is leave these presets alone, because it'll work better. And just click on Dedicate this device to Ready Boost. And come down, click apply, and there. Click OK. Now my computer is running 3 gigs of RAM. And that is not enough when I'm running VideoPad. But I just increased my RAM big time. I'll show you. We'll go here. Now this is the stick right here. The SD card. 10.9 gigs. That is how much I just increased my RAM. 10.9. Cost no money because I already had the card. <laughs> it speeds everything up big time. Big time. Now, um, also, I'll show you if you want to take 
the disc out. Don't just pull it, or not the disc, the card. Excuse me, don't just pull it out. And don't just hit eject. What you do is you click on it. Oh, there we go. And you go to properties. And then you see right here you got the ready boost tab. You click on that. Then you click on do not use this device. <coughs> Excuse me. Then you click apply. Okay. And there. Now it's not using it anymore. Now you can eject that card. And all the files were taken off of it. See the folder is empty. If um, Ready Boost is still running, there'd be a little icon right here, right now, saying Ready Boost. This is super easy to do, and the RAM is not as fast as your internal RAM. If you've got the money and you need RAM, get internal RAM. But this does speed things up, and especially if you've got a program that needs more RAM than you have, you can use this, it'll make it work. All right, well, I hope you found this tutorial useful, and I would appreciate a thumbs up. So, we'll see you next time at the Z Hut. Hope you have a good day.